Welcome back to Pathologic 2 Marble Nest. We've taken care of most of the things that are listed on the map that I care to take care of. I don't really particularly care about the Saba thing or the children looking into the house thing, unless I absolutely have to do that, which I feel like that is something I'm gonna have to do. But for now, I'm going to ignore it, and I don't think there's anything to do at the shop other than buy stuff if I wanted to. So, we are going to go check out where the orderlies are supposedly having a celebration in the Cape. Oh yeah, and I just ran from uh, Georgi's place where I ended the last episode over to here, and this is our house. And I noticed that there's an Odong outside. Thoughtful Odong. Young crops will rise soon. Stone flowers. You're a herb gatherer, aren't you? You Odongs have a special way with grass and herbs. I know that. Are you expecting a ripe harvest here? Special harvest. Marble flowers. Granite flowers. Earth is breathing. Ripe harvest on its way. Marble flowers? There's been quite a few mentions to stone. Things being petrified and frozen. The marble nest, marble flowers, granite flowers. If anyone sees you, there's bound to be trouble. As far as I know, the locals aren't too fond of your kind. Can I go back into my house? Would there be anything in here? I mean, I suppose not. It should be the way we left it. Yeah, I don't see any point in going back in there. To the party. I thought maybe that was a living creature, a dog or something. I can't believe my eyes. Same here. What are you doing here? Why have you all abandoned your duties? According to our papers... Uh, one moment, please. I'll find the precise... Uh... Ah, here it is. After a short burst of fever, having woken up from anxious dreams, Bachelor Daniel Dankovsky passed away in his own bed yesterday after 9 o'clock as the only known victim of the sand plague. Signed by me, right? Because if it isn't, that means you're way out of line, executing random orders. Since no signs of the sand plague were located in the stone yard, the orderly committee have unanimously decided to disband the medical worker corps. The most committed orderlies went across the river to transport dead bodies. The least committed ones went home. As for us, we've stayed here to celebrate your victory. And drink to my memory. I'm touched. Moved almost to tears. Since your untimely demise, Bachelor, Judge Georgi Kine has become our direct supervisor. He cancelled your quarantine measures. Ordered a ceasefire, so to speak. Now listen to me. The threat is still very much present. Moreover, I'm quite positive that there is a carrier in the stone yard. Get back to work. I don't know. According to the judge's orders, there's nothing more to be done here. And in the case of Bachelor Dankovsky's death, the judge is the only person whose orders I'm supposed to follow. Uh, here, see? I got it all in writing. Legal stuff. How about getting your peepers open, you cretin? Here I am, alive, right in front of you. I don't know what you're talking about. I got it all in writing. Anyone can impersonate Bachelor Dankovsky. As for me, I'm just standing my watch as an official representative. The 
The judge is unwell. He's raving. I'm telling you this as a doctor. I just paid him a visit. So get back to work at once. Do the rounds and send one of your people to me as an assistant. Someone's spreading a rumor that I'm dead. The orderlies have registered me as among the deceased. Someone will pay for this sick joke. What more can I do about this? Yeah, nothing else is marked on the map. Maybe I have to kind of advance the story by doing the house thing. And discovering the infected people. I'm kind of curious if there's anything at the end of the cape. I think I have the time to spare. It's not a very large area that I have to roam, and it's not even noon. I wonder if the children's stash is still over here. <laughs> nope. Wasn't there a bench here as well? I swear I remember our fellow traveler sitting on a bench here trying to convince me to buy... Actually, not really trying to convince me, just offering to buy suspicious candy wrappers. Okay. Mm, just for the sake of doing everything, because it might be important to advance certain quest triggers or whatever. I'm going to go do the Saba thing. I think we just talked to Saba and that's about it. Oh, something's happening. What just happened? The noon has come. You are sitting on their hands. Did something just happen? It sure seemed important. Because of the ding. And it stopped and everything, but like nothing new is on the map. Hold on, there's a guard here. So this is one of those buildings. Buildings off limits. Was order not to let anyone in. What was the precise wording of the order? No one is allowed inside. If someone somehow sneaks in, they are to stay in. If anyone doesn't comply, we are allowed to open fire. Whose brilliant idea was that? The order follows your own instructions, sir. That's what Captain Longin said. Doctor's orders, no exceptions. Full isolation. Some hothead sneaked in through the back door this morning and will never return. Whatever he may have stolen, he took to the grave. There's a back door, huh? I'm in the captain's bad books already, Doctor. One more slip up and you'll do me in. Won't even waste time on a court martial. The orders are strict and precise. If you want to try climbing up the window, go ahead. I'll look the other way. But don't ask me to break the chain of command directly. I won't. Sure. Don't want you to get into trouble. I'll try the other door. So... Yeah, what is actually going on inside of these houses? Now that I think about it, there's the house over here somewhere. Maybe it's this one. Probably this one. Um, that's guarded. And that's where I get the lockpicks from. But I never actually went inside of the house. Hmm. Wait, there's a guard in the back too? Shit. Inspecting the site, Doctor. There's no one here. One civilian got in, and in he stayed. He shouted and shouted and shouted, and then he didn't. Um, that's not a good sign. What's in there? Must be something scary inside. Perhaps the, perhaps the tenants found it. Dunno. Hence me asking, are you here to inspect the place? 
Indeed, I'm afraid I found the thing I was looking for. Okay, sounds like that opened it. Does something change on the map? Because, like, this was already marked. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Let's go inside. <laughs> oh, boy. Hmm. Hmm. You need to look it in the eye. Face to face. What? To dance with death, you need to face it. Death is a beast of prey. Never turn your back on it. We're locked in, and I don't think they'll let us out. What shall we do? Listen, if you can hear it, that means it's close. That means you must muster up your courage and look it in the eye. Then it will freeze for a while, and you'll get a chance to move forward. Look it in the eye. Move forward. How literal are we talking here? Does this house have a second exit? You need to find yourself. Then it'll leave you be. Don't test my patience. I'm asking you again. Is there a way out of here? You don't understand. I was speaking literally. No metaphors. Face death. Don't turn your back to it. Find yourself. Waste no time. Speaking literally, find yourself. You mean literally I have to find myself somewhere in this house? Waste no time. Okay, so like I'm not even going to try to loot. All right, take a look around. I definitely see infection... Oh, um, not that. My immunity is at like half. I have, I have nothing to take that would reduce that. I need to find myself. I mean, that's not me. Wait, key. It's cold. Is that that damn weird cold key again? I don't see myself. Have I gone everywhere now? That's everywhere upstairs. Maybe I should be looting stuff. I don't know. Um. Ah, this is open now. Am I in here? Pocket watch. Recently stopped, so the original owner most likely died. Okay. Did I do the th thing? Should I be looting stuff in here? I doubt I need to. It seems safe now, though. I'll spend some time to loot. Seems like there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, wow. Is any of it going to matter? Probably not. That is a lot of stuff. So is the door open now? Yeah. It is. And the infection's gone.
Did I do this one? Did I? Yeah. Just the side and we're done. Um, I did get a needle there. I want to use it on something large. There was something large here that was locked. Or, uh, I don't think it was that. I think it was bigger. Yeah, here it was. Shoes, that's what I was hoping for. Clothes. My first piece of clothing. Mm, let's also eat some food. My hunger's super high. Yeah. All good now. Now let's get the hell out of here. Oops. Let's sleep by the back door. The guards are gone? What about the front guard? Yeah. I was expecting something to happen when I picked up the pocket watch and found myself, if that is indeed what I did. I mean, I guess something did happen. The door's unlocked, the guards disappeared, but I was expecting some sort of understanding to come to me. But it didn't. <laughs> I don't understand anything more about what I just did. Okay, I guess I probably need to find all three houses then, huh? That have guards in front of them? So... There's this one. There's the one that I got the block picks from. I think it's that one. Somewhere here. Actually, I'm sure that it's that one. So then what's the other one? Would it be this one? Because it's also colored brownish? Actually, this one's also brownish. But I don't believe there's a guard out front of that one. So maybe it's this one. But also there's no guard here, but maybe when the guards disappeared from this building, they disappeared from all buildings. It's possible. Oh, this is the building where, right, the kid's um, stepfather died. And that's why it's marked on the map. Hmm. In that case, let's go to the other house and keep an eye out for guards. I should probably speak with people as well. Firemaker. I'm doing my best to hurry, doctor, sir. I really am. Dismantling these bloody things takes time, but we're doing it. They truly are disturbing. Are you dismantling signal fires? Why the hell? Who gave the order? Uh, well, it's not like anyone needs them anymore, sir. It's getting colder by the day. October's at hand. It means houses need heating. And wood is scarce in these parts. What with us living amidst a step and all. Don't you worry. You'll get warm in the evening when all the dead bodies will pile up and require moving around. Bite your tongue, doctor, sir. Ah, uh, pardon me. But we've had enough dead bodies already. Half the town is gone. That's it. No more suffering. Now is the time to live. If you want to live, you have to listen to me, and I'm telling you that you're loosening safety measures prematurely. You are indeed a learned and venerable man, sir. Not one to indulge in superstition. But wouldn't we be croaking disaster if we keep them? Dismantling the unnerving things would be best. But it'll be as you wish, of course. I'm just following orders. If no outbreak happens by the evening, you light it up to celebrate. I've gambled my soul away. So who has it now? They left their stupid theater behind, across the river, and now idle away at the square in front of the bloody cathedral. I wonder how they got here in the first place. But they won't accept your bet. To each their own, as the saying goes.
Keep your chin up, my friend. You've been swindled. There's nothing more to it. It's not so easy to extract a person's soul. Or is it? I don't know. There's something strange going on at the bridge square. In front of the cathedral? Yes. Okay, yeah, definitely good to talk to people. Not only interesting, but it actually brings up new events. Have you ever considered going to a fortune teller? To learn your fate? Maybe even see tomorrow? No. Never. Remember Macbeth? A mime performance is being staged in front of the cathedral. A tragic one. The actors are not unexpectedly quite silent. But if you manage to get one to talk... Oh yeah, we've had this conversation before. Must be hard to watch the local attempts at drama without weeping. There are soldiers guarding the drugstore. The one by the bridge, I mean. Won't let anyone in. Means they'll open it soon, right? They'll open it when I tell them to. We've had this conversation as well. Yeah, we should do the drugstore thing as well. Not that I need medical supplies right now, but it wouldn't hurt to have them. Is there anything I want to buy here? Like, I don't need food. Immunity boosters are good. I suppose a bandage would definitely be good as well. Um. Right, we're not bartering. We're trading for money. Should I trade away this watch? It feels like it might be a kind of special watch, you know? I don't think I do want to trade it away. In fact, nothing I have is really worth coin. It's more just worth bartering. Yeah, I'll just buy the immunity boosters. And actually, let's take them. Let's go check out what's going on in front of the cathedral. Okay, so you all playing around out here is not triggered by me finishing the crowd of, uh, not the crowd, the, um, the building where there's the two infected people inside. Mm -hmm. We know all about you, we've had this conversation before, but let's see if anything's different now that we've done very different things compared to the last time we had this conversation. Hopefully they think we have a kind heart now, rather than last time they thought we didn't. Mm, we do need the key to victory, but alas, it will be of no use to Bachelor Dankovsky. Why? Only a man with an open heart can overcome such an adversary. I've already taken heart. Uh, taken a heart, I mean. Undoubtedly an open one. Oh, Excellency, what a sordid sight. Sorry for underestimating you. You definitely do have, how shall I put it, a creative touch. But this is pure madness. You can't take things so literally. That really seemed like that was the thing, though. It looked too fitting to be a coincidence. Come now, Excellency, come now. Do you think this is some sort of game? Even if it is, it most certainly is not played by your rules. A game is a cage, and if you fail to break out of it, you lose. We know what we're talking about. You promised to help me out with this evening's appointment. We just did. A very fitting coincidence, indeed. Please be so kind as to explain clearer. Never agree to play a game if you don't understand its rules. The stakes are too high. If you already have, challenge and change those rules. 
Bachelor Dankovsky. Challenge and change. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but I just took a picture of it with my phone because that seems obviously really important. What game? This game itself? How would I change the rules of this game? What do they mean like the game of death? Don't agree to play, like don't agree to go along with death unless you understand the rules. I, I'm not sure. Thank you. I'll think it over. Whoa, what just... What just happened? A lot of things. The tragedians believe that I have no heart. I have a heart now. Perhaps the tragedians would like to have a look. I misinterpreted the tragedians. <laughs> A terrible appointment awaits me this evening. No matter what, one shouldn't play by the rules. Not even the rules of this very game. The source or the carrier does not matter. What matters is discovering how to defeat the disease. How can it be done? Yes, how can it be done? I feel like I really want to go save. It's been a long time. Oh, can I issue any more orders, by the way? Nope. Look at how tiny the cages get. Look at that one. Let's go check out the building where there were guards outside of it. Yeah, they're not there anymore, are they? So can I just go in then? Not exactly, but I can pick the lock. Maybe there's a back door. No. Shall I pick the lock anyway? I don't know. It doesn't seem like that's what I'm supposed to do. Let's go do the VAR thing. Okay, let's throw some stuff out the window this time. I very carefully put all the stuff that I got here. Like, sorted in my inventory so I know exactly what I got from this place. Uh, not the pocket watch, but this, yes. And then I didn't have room for this, so let's grab that now. Executor cloak. Also, at some point recently, I got these. I just didn't really pay attention to them. Cotherny. Protective footwear helps one rise above their troubles and the poisoned earth. Yeah, it's very strange footwear. It's like literally like. I don't know what you call them. Really big platform shoes? Stilts, kinda? Cotherny. Unusual footwear that elevates the wearer high above the ground are popular with the local theater. It's likely the orderlies owe their awe-inspiring height to them. Oh. But yeah, it's really good footwear. So let's put that on and I guess... These take up a lot of room. They're not very good. I'm just going to drop them. They're whatever. Um, oh, panacea. Right, that also needs to go out there. Okay, let's hope the soldier doesn't fuck me up. Sorry, doctor, but I'm gonna have to search you. Nothing's to be carried out of the store. I warned you, so no hard feelings, huh? Ooh, I can ask to strike a bargain, so maybe I could keep all the stuff if I wanted to. But... Not much of a reason to. Go ahead, do your thing. I've always dreamt of being searched like a common thug. Okay. Did they take anything? I think I'm good. Crow. So what? We go back to work? With that stinking plague defeated and all? Means I have to return to the factory, is that it? What makes you say so? Well, calamity's over, ain't it? Hence my questions and all.
If only it were so simple. So, where's that kid, huh? You around back? Ooh, they are. Here, your share, fair and square. There's also a bottle of some sort of panna serum. Uh, got smashed. Ah, oh, fuck. Maybe they're lying. You little lying rat, give it here now. I'm not lying, I swear. Here are the pieces, look. Shit, indeed. Well, perhaps there's more at the store. Go ahead, I'll wait. It was a serum that could cure the sand pest. Enough for several lives, perhaps. Unique, too. There's no one left to make more. Ah, they even gave me the executor cloak. Good. Uh, my health actually is not maxed. So, let's just use some of the healing items. Nice. Anything else I want to use? No, nah, don't really need to use anything else anyway. My stats are actually looking really good. Okay, so note to self, if I do ever absolutely need that panacea, I might be able to bribe the guard and keep it on myself if I don't throw it out the window. Hey, let's trade for that panacea, or not panacea, but the schmouter with sticky. You can have the bloody used bandages, sure. Nuts? I mean, why not? Who else am I going to give the nuts to? There we go. And anything else I might want? I guess immunity boosters, definitely. A bandage is always good. Needles are great. Let's get a couple needles, a bandage. Some immunity boosters would be nice. How much of this can I actually get? Hmm. What's more important, the immunity boosters or the bandage? I don't know. They're both important. But let's kick out the immunity boosters. Let's do the thing with Saba. The whole prove that you know how to die. <laughs> What does that do for my events? According to the dream teller, death can be proper or improper. She promised to teach me how to die properly. When one dies properly, they're greeted by something other than non-existence beyond the threshold. But how does one die properly? So everything on this list here is complete except for whatever this is. That's probably where I discover the infected people inside of that house, huh? I suppose I should do that. According to Shrew, I'm delirious, hallucinating yesterday's events, and not for the first time. The kind girl wants my misery to end. What if that's the key? What if that's how to die properly? Get sucked into a nut? Get my soul sucked into a nut? That doesn't sound like a proper way to die, but I'm curious to try it at some point. Now that I've spoken with one of the infected people, a couple things happened. I found infected people. It's a whole new quest tree after I got to the door. It said behind the locked doors of one house in the dust district, one can hear footsteps. Also added a couple things over here. I don't know why I even bother. I've already figured out it wasn't the step people who brought the plague into the stone yard. And I cannot diagnose the couple in the cathedral, but I do know they weren't the main carriers. Why am I bothering to loot this place? Am I going to find Panacea? I doubt it. So yeah, what happens now? So that just ends the day. Nothing is the same anymore. 